What's up guys? Super, super exciting day on the channel because we're finally going to get to take a look at the new Ford Bronco in person. I'm not talking about the Bronco Sport, I'm talking about the new full-size off-road ready Ford Bronco and I cannot wait to see it. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram at all, you know back when they first announced it, I did put a deposit down uh, way back, I don't know, like six, eight months ago, you know, so I could be one of the first people to get one of these Broncos. And then about a month ago on Instagram, I posted a, a teaser picture that I ordered a new car, new vehicle. It's coming in September, or sorry, coming this summer. And a couple of you guys guessed that it is the Bronco, so I did actually spec it out build the bronco and order it so originally when i you know put the deposit down i was going to get the the wild track version for myself uh but since then you know i bought this 21 toyota tundra we're driving right now and i still haven't found a sports car so i was like well you know i don't really need the tundra which you know i leased it so I'm, i gotta keep it two years i don't really need a tundra and a bronco so my wife was like, maybe I want the Bronco. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, but I, you know, I've had this uh, minivan for four years. I'm kind of over it, even though it's fantastic and super practical with the two kids. Um, but she's like, maybe I want this Bronco. So In half a mile, I went, turn right oh, on sorry Stoops about Ferry that. Road. I went to the Ford dealer where I used to work, Moon Township Ford, and uh, you know, I basically built the Bronco with the salesman. And I put my deposit down, we ordered it up. Uh, so we got the cactus green, or sorry, cactus gray, and we got the Outer Banks version, and we basically got more creature comforts, you know, more creature comfort options. You know, we got leather interior, the fancier radio. Uh, I didn't get the Sasquatch package because this could potentially be my wife's daily driver. Uh, so because I either showed interest Turn or right put on a, Stoops Ferry Road, either showed interest or put a uh, deposit down or, or whatever. I got invited to come to this like Bronco road show thing they're doing and it's about a half an hour away from me in Pittsburgh. Uh, so we're headed there now. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be allowed to do. I don't know if we can drive the new Broncos. I don't even know if I could film, but you know, there's tons of stuff out on the internet about them. So I don't, I don't think they're a secret anymore. So I, I'm hoping to, to be able to put a video together for you guys to you know show you the new Bronco. And of course, so my wife could see it, unfortunately. She wasn't able to join me because today is my son's first day of soccer practice. Uh, so she had to take him to soccer practice. So she's not gonna be able to see it uh, in person. Um, but we, like I said, we did order it. In so one I, mile, I may, on University Boulevard. I may be able to determine if we're actually going to purchase the Bronco today just by looking at it. But I know she really wants to see it in person and we don't hate the minivan. Uh, so this is gonna have to be pretty decent interior space uh you know to replace what we have but i keep getting emails from ford saying the orders are being pushed back uh because they're having trouble getting parts so it may not come in until it's a 2023 model which would you know push us back till fall or even later uh but tentatively it's it's in supposed to come mile. in turn left uh, come on ways it's supposed to come in in june uh, so we're going to head up there now. Hopefully we can film and drive it. And uh, you guys can check it out too. Super excited. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Here it is. This is the, that, or the first edition in Cactus Gray. So this is the color that I have ordered. So here's my first look at this color. It looks pretty awesome. Here's the Area 51 color blue. I like that as well. But like I said, we got the Cactus Gray. This one has the push bar on the front. It's got the 2.7 liter V6. That's We ordered that as well. Uh, I'd like to have the manual, the 2.7, but they don't make that as an option. You'd have to get the 2.3, and I don't think my wife would like that very much. Here's a look at the interior. It's got dual power seats. This is the same color leather I got in the one I ordered. The na navel blue, I think it's called. Let's take a look inside. It's got these nice grab handles everywhere. Unfortunately, the key's not in here, so we can't start it up, but the climate controls look pretty nice. 
Nice big screen on there. Got the auxiliary switches to add things later. The nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Got the goat modes. You've got the window switches in the center, like uh, on the Wrangler, because you know the doors do come off of this, so they don't have the window switches on the doors. I like the nice metal dash here. This one has a soft top. There's the back seat, looks pretty decent. It's got an armrest in the middle. Nice big center console there. Check out the back seat a little more. Not a, not a ton of leg room back here. It's got the Bronco album on the floor mat. That's pretty cool. So this one's got the 315 7017s on with the black wheels with the bead lock. Not, not my favorite wheel on the Bronco, but that's a beefy, beefy tire. This has got like some kind of rock guards on it. That's pretty cool. I don't know if we'll be able to look underneath here much, but this is built on the Ranger platform. Can't really see much under here, unfortunately. So this Badlands Edition does have a 2.3 liter turbo four cylinder, and it does have a manual transmission. Unfortunately, we can't drive these today. We can only drive the Bronco Sports, but still pretty cool to see one in person. So this one has a silver beadlock. Actually, I actually like the way that looks a little better. <laughs> Excuse me, this one has a uh, 285-70-17 on it. Check out the suspension a little bit. You see, this one here has the manual transmission. We'll go, go around the other side and get inside there. See, it does have a decent amount of storage space, and those seats do fall down, so maybe this will be able to replace the minivan. It's got the trailer hitch on the back. The LED tail lights, those are pretty cool. Badlands, same same time and control setup, same touch screen. It's got the 4x4 switches up there. Traction control, locking rear diff. Uh, this has got the roof off, so that's pretty awesome. And here's a look at the manual transmission. So it's a seven speed, which is pretty sweet. It's got the crawl crawl mode there, right there, and C. So that's pretty cool. These do have uh, electronic parking brakes, not a hand parking brake like most off-road vehicles would have. Uh, but the steering wheel's nice, got a bunch of buttons on it. Wish I could see the dash lit up. Unfortunately, we can't do that today. Uh, but the seats are nice and comfortable. They got some side bolster support to them. Not too bad. Like I said, you got the uh, window switches and mirror switches here because the doors do come off. Oh no, pretty nice in here. Let's get in the back seat. All right, so like I said, there's not a ton of room back here, but I have small children, which are still in car seats. So this will be plenty, plenty for them. But here's a better look at the full dash. All right, so I'm trying to get a look at the rear suspension here. Like I said, it's a solid rear axle based on the Ford Ranger, but you can see this one's got some Bilsteins. Uh, here's a pretty decent sized muffler. I'm sure they'll make some aftermarket exhaust. You can free up some horsepower on this, especially with the 2.7. So it does look like we have a dual piston copper up front, so it's a you know, fairly decent sized brake on here. Let's see if we can check out the front suspension a little more. There you go. A nice big skid plate under here, a nice big aluminum lower control arm, and that's about as far underneath as we can get. I like the headlights on these, they're pretty awesome. 
like I said, this one has the push bar on the front. So here's a look with the doors off. So that's pretty sweet that it has that option. Looks like it's fairly easy access for kids to climb up in here. I'm sure, you, you know, there's running boards available. But ours is going to have a hard top on it. All in all, I'm pretty impressed with it. So you can see here when you pull the doors off, you got this little panel where it plugs in so that it'll keep it watertight. So that's pretty awesome. Has it on the rear door as well. All right, so I did uh, get the gentleman working here to give me the key so we could turn it on to see the accessory so position. Just press it, yeah, right there. All right, so we can see the dash light up. Almost all digital except for the speedometer. It's got the cool Bronco logo on the touchscreen. So it's got the Sync 4 system like most new Fords. That's a nice massive screen, so it looks awesome. And I really like the digital cluster, so I actually like it more than I thought. Let's get there. Trying to pull up the audio display. I mean, it looks pretty much like every other you know, audio display. We got the navigation over here. Yeah, it's a nice big map on there. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's got the rolling picture. I'm sure you could customize this pretty well, but it's got the digital speedometer in the middle as well, along with the digital tachometer. Pretty sweet. All right, so they do have the Bronco Sport on display as well, and I was able to take this uh, Big Ben for a quick test drive. It has the 1.5 liter turbo, and it was surprisingly uh, good, you know, for pickup and acceleration and everything, but I am going to do a full review on the Bronco Sport, so we're not going to get too crazy. I just want to do a quick walk around for you guys to see it, uh, but I'm going to go to Moon Township Ford hopefully sometime here in the near future and, uh, you know, do a full review, um, but it, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's actually cooler than I expected it to be. So this one does have a window sticker. Uh, I'll show you that real quick. Um, but yeah, not not too bad of a package. Thirty one thousand uh, dollars. Like I said it's the the Big Ben four x four with one point five turbo. Not too shabby. Alright guys, I was pretty impressed with that Bronco, but I want to hear what you guys think as well. Uh, do any of you have a Bronco on order? Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to drive one and you know ultimately it's going to be my wife's decision uh, But I think you know as much as we love that minivan, I think she wants to get out of it So I think she would you know get anything you know to get out of that minivan to an extent um, But I, I like the color we chose you know I hadn't seen that in person uh, the interior was really nice. You know, we got a little bit higher trim level, so it has a nicer radio. Uh, the, the big touch screen, the leather seats. Uh, so it had like an upscale feel to it on the inside, which, you know, I know she'll like because the, you know, the minivans, you know, got all those features, leather and everything. Um, so all in all, I, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, we did get, like I said, we got the 2.7 and in the F-150, I mean, that engine rips. Um, and this is a smaller, lighter vehicle, so I think you should have no problems with that. You know, and you can throw a tune on it, and then it, then it really goes. Um, but without being able to really drive it, feel the on-road characteristics, or, or, you know, how noisy it is, it, it's still hard to say. So, I keep, you know, I get some emails saying they're pushing back production like everything else in the world. Uh, so, I'm, I'm not sure when we're going to see this vehicle. They were saying, you know, June, um, but I, I think it's going to be in the fall at the earliest. Uh, so if you want to see some Bronco content in the future, make sure you subscribe. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys checking this video out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, check out my Facebook page, and have a great day.